Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to the Learning Net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply an IP address to an interface. Okay, so we need to log into our routers. In this instance, it is a 2800 series Cisco router. I need to get into the enable mode, so I bring up my console, type in the command enable or short en for short, put in my password, and I'm now in the enable mode. I need to go into the global configuration mode, and I do that by typing typing in configure t or configure terminal or conf t whichever you prefer i like conf t i need to choose the interface interface fa0 slash 0 is the interface i want to configure i'm going to assign an ip address so i have to type in the command ip address give it the ip address that i've assigned 192.168.100.254 in this instance this is a class c address so i'm going to give it a class c subnet mask Whenever I put in an IP address on a router, I always follow up with a subnet mask. Okay, that has now taken the IP address. What I need to do on my router, because routers are pretty stupid by default, when they come out of the box, all their interfaces are shut down. So I need to turn them on, or whichever ones I want to be on. I need to enable them. And the way I do that is I type in the command no shut down, which will bring it up, or no shut. Okay, so I should see some form of uh, alert saying the interface has now come up, and there we go. Uh, the interface has changed, status is now up. And that's how I sign an IP address. Uh, the next thing I should really be doing here is uh, follow some best practice guidelines, and that is give this interface some form of description so that I can identify it on my network. Um, so when I'm doing some troubleshooting later on, if I'm just looking at some basic uh, run commands um, or interface commands, I can see just a quick overview of what this interface is responsible for. So I can just type any word I like here now. Um, there's no wrong or right uh, description that I can give it. I can say this belongs to network um, dash A, for example, and it is the uplink for network A. Okay, so I could, I could type in an IP address uplink. I could say this connects me to the internet. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so it is important though that you do give your interfaces a description. And in this case, I just give in mine a very simple one. Okay, and that's what I need to do to apply an IP address to an interface. The next thing I should do before I log off is make sure that that IP address is uh, assigned correctly and the interface is indeed up. And I do that by typing in the show IP interface brief command. And that's it there. I typed in for short show sh IP interface int and brie for short for brief that's the shortest way i can type this command in to uh, make the command run and it's showing me here that the fast ethernet interface this is the ip address that the company has assigned which is correct that's the one i gave it and the status is up and up which effectively means this interface is now working as it was intended okay and that's how you apply an ip address to an interface my name is paul I'd like to thank you for your time and sincerely hope you choose the Learning Net as your IT training center of choice. Thank you.